In this video, we'll show you how you can easily replace the battery of your Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. Replacing the battery is quite simple on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It can be easily removed from the bottom of the screen unit via adhesive tabs. Allow about 60 minutes for the repair. You will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful. You can find all tools for your repair in our online store at iDoc.eu. We've put the link in the info box. Switch off your Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro before the repair to avoid potential short circuits. To do so, press and hold the power button until a menu appears on the screen. Tap on power off. Your smartphone will now shut down within a few seconds. Remove the SIM tray by pressing into the small opening next to it with the pointed tool. Pull the SIM tray completely out of the case frame and put it aside. The Redmi Note 10 Pro is opened via the back cover. It is made of glass and heavily glued. Please note that your phone won't be waterproof anymore after opening it. In order to open it, you first have to heat the glue of the back cover. To do so, run a hot air device such as a hair dryer evenly over the back cover's edge for a few minutes. Once the adhesive has warmed up sufficiently, you can apply a suction cup and pull it upwards to create a narrow gap between the back cover and the screen unit. Insert a flat stable tool to widen the gap. We can recommend the Airflex for this since it can be inserted particularly well due to its sharp edges. However, since you can also quickly scratch something with the sharp edges, you should switch to a plastic tool such as the Air Plastics as soon as possible. Run the tool along the edges of the back cover, detaching it from the rest of the case piece by piece. Put flat plastic pegs in the loosened areas at regular intervals to prevent the glue from rebonding. Reheat the edge of the back cover in between when you notice that the glue is getting solid again. Once the back cover is completely loosened, you can take it off. In the next step, unscrew the 17 Phillips screws of the middle frame. To avoid losing the screws, you should use a screw storage, such as a magnetic pad. The middle frame is additionally hooked to the screen unit and therefore has to be unhooked. Make sure to place your tool in the right place to prevent damaging anything. Take a flat plastic pick and push it between the screen unit and the middle frame with a bit of pressure, preferably on one of the long sides first. Then run the tool once around the frame. You should hear and feel it detach from the screen unit. As soon as the middle frame is detached, you can flip it over, but you cannot completely remove it yet, because it is still connected to the screen via the fingerprint sensor cable. Therefore, be careful not to overstretch this cable. To avoid short circuits during the repair, you should always disconnect the battery as soon as possible. Carefully lever it off the motherboard with a spudger. Small parts on the board can be easily damaged, so always lever it from a free side only. Disconnect the fingerprint sensor in the same way. Once both connectors are separated, you can completely remove the middle frame. Now you can remove the battery. The battery of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro is attached to the screen unit with an adhesive film. The film can be pulled out from underneath the battery via three adhesive tabs. Start by peeling all tabs from the upper side of the battery. Then pull the outer orange tab upwards. This way the battery can be removed without the use of heat. 
heat the remaining adhesive film to be able to easily peel it off the case bottom. You can also use a flat tool like a steel spatula for this. You won't have to take over the adhesive film later, since an adhesive film is already integrated on the back of the replacement battery. You can find all tools for this repair in our online store at iDuck.eu. Once you've removed all protective films from the replacement battery, you can position it in your device and press it tight. Now take the middle frame and lean it against the screen unit to be able to reconnect the fingerprint sensor. Be careful not to overstretch the fragile flex cable. After that you can also connect the battery. You should always connect it last to avoid a potential short circuit. Before fastening your device, we recommend testing the replacement battery at this point. Connect a charging cable and check whether the battery charges. You should also verify the function of the fingerprint sensor and the screen. With the help of our checklist, you can test other basic functions to make sure that your repair was successful. We link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. If everything is in order, you can reattach the middle frame. Check in advance whether the camera modules and the antenna cable are correctly seated in their guides. Otherwise, the middle frame may protrude in places. Position the middle frame on the screen unit and press it firmly all around. You should hear and feel it click into place. If it sits evenly everywhere, you can fix it with the 17 Phillips screws. At the end of the repair, you still have to reattach the back cover. If the adhesive frame is still in good condition, you can simply reuse it. Otherwise, you should attach a new one. Larger lumps should always be removed so that the back cover lies flat again. In our video, Reseal your smartphone correctly, we show you how to remove the adhesive frame and attach a new one, using the iPhone 12 as an example. Align the back cover of the screen unit and press it firmly along the frame. To make the adhesive bond properly again, you should briefly heat the edge with hot air and weigh it down for a few minutes. The last step is to insert the SIM tray. Make sure that you insert it the right way around. You've done it! The battery is now replaced. I hope you were able to get your Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro back to full battery power. If this guide helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories in our online store. iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Find more helpful videos here.